What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Joy Chavis. She is the baby's mother of Bow Wow and Future. And she put up this post on IG, on her IG stories that got a conversation started. And she's talking about how she's looking for love again and she's going celibate. You know, that's the favorite term of women who want to break from the streets, okay? I'm not saying George Chavis is for the streets, but her activity recently has people thinking that she may be for that. But anyway, out of the blue, she's talking about wanting love and being celibate. And she also joked that it may be the music that she's listening to. Y'all know these chicks love to go that route when things don't go quite as well. But her now she posted this in the shade room, reposted it. And it caused her to go on a bit of a meltdown. That's what it looks like. Because she put this up on her IG story. And she decided that she wanted to go and respond to every little thing. Especially dudes. Like she responded a lot to a lot of the males in the comment section. Because this is what happens people when you try to fix your image and it's too late. It's too late. You were just recently on a yacht laying up kissing diddy and you really expect men to want to be in a relationship with you and wife you up when you were just on a boat kissing and hugging all over diddy randomly now this was random okay nobody even knew they had anything to do with each other but then diddy goes and hooks up with young miami and now you know, she thought that that situation was going to work. I truly believe she thought more was going to be of that and it never materialized. So now she's back being single. And, you know, of course, these women don't like being single like that. They don't like missing out. So they put up posts like this on social media. Let me read a little bit. Because I've been through so much pain and as terrified as I am, I want to be in love again. I haven't given up on that, even though it seems nearly impossible to have someone in this generation. Single and dating is cool, but I'm really going to stick to celibacy until the right one comes along. Okay, maybe I've been listening to hours and hours too much, uh, but for real. See, this is what happens once again when you give women all types of freedom, okay? Modern women wanted freedom. Modern women wanted to have the opportunity to do whatever it is they wanted to do. They talked about how they don't need a man. They talked about how they want to be single and independent, right? You know, these women are out here achieving and winning and all that. But what happens on the other side once you've been doing that and you get lonely? You see all these other women who are happy you see all these other women who have relationships that you want to have. You know, you again, she's talking about looking for love, but you you have two children by two different rappers. You were just on a boat with Diddy kissing all over and hugging all over him. And now you're upset at the response that you're getting. Why are you upset i mean you you set yourself up for this failure you're the one on boats kissing and hugging all over diddy and then trying to deny that you had any type of intimate relationship when we all can see it we all could see the intimate relationship you had joy but now she wants to lash out and she wants to go off because she sees that no matter how good she looks a lot of men just don't care. They see you as a pass around. They're not going to take you seriously when it comes to a relationship. Celibacy? Why are you talking that celibacy talk now? If you were talking that celibacy talk before, you wouldn't be struggling. Okay? Now, this is some of the stuff that she's been saying. She responded to a, a guy on Instagram, in the Instagram comment section. Now, this is a guy here who said, um, she was just with Diddy and Young Miami. She was just with Diddy and Young Miami. And then she responded with this long post. This is what you call triggered, okay? This is a random guy in the comment section. 
And she got so in her feelings because nobody's buying this. I'm going to, I'm looking for love and I'm going to be celibate. Nobody's buying this. So she wants to hop into the comment section and go off on a random guy she doesn't know because she realizes that a lot of men just, they're not going to be checking for her like that. They see her as a side chick at best, just like Diddy did, or a jump off at best. She responded to him by saying, no, the F I wasn't. Since y'all so nosy, here it is. Me and him are friends and have been. I was working on an unreleased project for him, and that's why I was in Italy. <laughs> In the midst of me being there, we kissed, and that's it. Didn't go further than that. I had my own room, and he always been respectful to me as a friend. The kiss shouldn't have happened. Oh, here we go. Are you telling me that Diddy took advantage of you and kissed you? Is that what she's saying? Does she have regret for allowing him to passionately kiss her? <laughs> but it did and there's nothing i can do about it wow nothing like throwing diddy under the bus this is your friend that you're throwing under the bus and you're saying that you shouldn't have kissed them this is what you call damage control this damage control is coming a month or two too late okay we already saw you on the boat now you want to do damage control. Why? Because Diddy went back to um, Young Miami. So now you're doing damage control. Women always go to the default of we just friends. We ain't hooking up. Who believes that? Who believes that? And now you're saying that he that you kissed, that y'all kissed and it shouldn't have happened. Who? I told you these women are completely delusional and she says there's nothing she could do about it how about you be honest and tell the truth continuing she knew about she knew about the project because i told her prior in houston i didn't and still don't know anyone else's business on how people deal with each other but being that we always exchange on social i thought i should let her know i hate that I'm even responding right now because usually I pay it boots. Not this year and moving forward. I'm going to stand up for myself regardless of how y'all see it or what y'all believe. I'm tired of it. I don't bother no one. I make my money and I take care of my kids. That's my only focus. Now find someone else to bully and dead this damn love circle y'all think is going on because it ain't that wasn't that and will never be that now leave me alone lol let me let me just say this you say that that there was no love circle going on but joy i mean nobody believes you how would you friends don't kiss each other and embrace each other the way that y'all were embracing each other on that boat. We all saw the photos. And now she wants to say, y'all didn't see what y'all saw. Yes, we did. And the fact that she's lying makes it worse. You're trying to distance yourself from Diddy because he chose another woman. He didn't choose you. That's why you're doing damage control. You're trying to change the narrative to preserve your image because you want things to go back to the way it was uh, either before you had a child with future or after. Because there was a while where no one really was talking about Joy like that. You know, she was doing her own thing. But I mean, when you randomly show up on this dude's boat in Italy, Italy, y'all two together. Where was your friends? Where was his friends? Y'all look like a couple. And she's basically saying y'all didn't see what y'all saw. Then she's talking about how she's being bullied. 
Nobody's bullying you, Joy. You're blatantly lying. Okay? Now, again, let's say for argument's sake, they didn't hook up. Why were you kissing this man on his boat then? Why? Why were you so why were you that comfortable with him? And then you're in Italy. You're vacationing together. And you expect people to just ignore that. See, that's the way that's the modern woman. She wants you to ignore what is right in front of your face because she wants to do damage control and save her image because she wants another opportunity at love. But she's had a lot of time to find love and she's never found it. She just found another baby father in future. She had the child with, with Bow Wow years ago. I don't think anybody really held that against her. But why would you go and have a child with future then if you're looking for love? And the reason why, Joy, you're going celibate is because you thought that what was what you had between your legs was going to win you somebody and it didn't. And now you're back to the drawing board. She responded to someone else, another guy. He says she must have thought future was the one with the crying emoji. She says, and no, I don't. We have a great co-parenting relationship and friendship. He does what he's supposed to do as a father and make sure I'm always straight, period. So that so that bracelet, yeah, I bought it. It's the least I can do. After all, he's done to help me with my business or whatever it may be. I'm not concerned with his personal life like y'all. Okay, go back. I guess go back quiet joy. You know what's funny? When Future got that bracelet, he he said he he spelled her name Joy as in J O Y instead of J O I E. He spelled it Joy as in J O Y. And she ended up changing her bio because again, she's trying to do damage control. I guess this relationship season for her, she wants to find somebody serious now, you know that she realized that the, the other thing that she was working on didn't work out. But, you know, and she also has this comment here. She says, and for everyone saying, sis, don't respond. Shut up. It's easy to say it when it ain't you constantly being attacked and accused of shit that ain't happening by. I love how these women try to change the narrative. They, they love to try to change things as if we don't see what's going on. Joy, nobody's attacking you. Um, You're looking for love. Okay. Okay, um, you you haven't found it yet. I mean, how long are you going to be looking for love? And then the fact that you're adding celibacy into it, which is the favorite term of these women, when they've been used up, when they've been used up and kicked to the curb many a times, they then say, you know what? I need to try a different strategy. Instead of giving up the box at the start, I'm going to wait. No one's going to wait on you, Joy. Uh, because they've seen how you move, okay? You, you're not getting with a whole bunch of different guys, but look at the quality of guys you've gotten with. You've gotten with Bow Wow, Future. There's been other guys she's been tied to, but there's no confirmation, so I'm not going to name them. And also uh, Diddy. That's an interesting group of males. I mean, you couldn't find anybody else outside of the hip-hop circle. That is why... A lot of these guys are clowning you, Joy. And the fact that you're lying. <laughs> you're out here lying about the fact that you and Diddy hooked up. It, and that's, that's to me just, it, it just shows that these women have no self-awareness. Nobody buys that. Male or female. We see what's going on. We see what's going on, Joy. You're trying to switch your image up. It's whatever, Joy. You can do whatever you want to do. No one's going to try to keep you from being happy. But ultimately, uh, it's up to you to be able to figure that out because you can't find that in no rapper. You got to find that in yourself. I think you put all your, your eggs in one basket and it didn't work. And now you're back to the drawing board with this whole, I'm going to be celibate and wait. So let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.